it's this guy back at it again for another video and today I'll be showing you how to make an intro which I displayed at the start of the video so what we're gonna do now is delete this cat we don't need a cat uh, delete it make a new sprite and uh, I'm just gonna put in my logo I'm gonna center it. Okay, now what I'm gonna have to do is, if you have like white residue, like around here, just erase it, cause it's not gonna work. If you don't, you're good. Um, let me just erase this. And that's good. And what you need to do next is, no, not that. You need to go to make the background. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep this white because this is gonna be the background, and then I'm gonna take for sprite three. I'm gonna put my name in it. It's gonna be red. This. And then you need to center it. Okay. So now you have most of the stuff done. Now let's go to the coding part. So for sprite one, you're gonna get the when clicked green flag. Go to front which is in the look section, and then go to uh, the motion section and take go to X and Y, and then go to um, point and direction, like get point and direction 90, which is in the motion, and then you take set ghost effect, which is gonna be in looks, and drag that and then change color to ghost uh, it's gonna be zero and um, set size to uh, which is gonna be in the look section two it's gonna be zero and then you go to the control and take the repeat uh, loop uh, type in 20 and then you go to change ghost effect by negative 5 which is going to be inside of the ghost loop I mean the repeat loop it's going to be right here ghost effect by negative 5 and then you're gonna go to turn 18 degrees so that would be in motion oh, it's gonna be inside and then what you're gonna have to do is go to the looks section and then change size by uh, seven, and then you don't have to put this in the repeat loop. Uh, go to the control center and then take wait two seconds, and then go to the events and broadcast message start. New message is going to be start. It 
if it looks like sideways and you don't want that, you can edit the turn degrees part right here. And I don't want to do that. Then now let's go to Sprite 2, which is the background. So now what you do is, when clicked, uh, go to X, which is in motion, and put them both zeros. And that's it for this one. And then what you do for the third one, you do when cl green flag clicked, which is in the event, uh, clear graphic effects, which is going to be in looks. Um, take that, uh, and then you go, then you take the go to front, and then you go to motion, take the go to X, uh, yeah, X and Y. So it's going to be negative 240 for this one. And it's going to be negative 100 for this one. You can change it up if you want. but uh, And then you go do set size to 300%, which is going to be in looks. Drag that in. And then repeat, um, take the repeat one and then do it 38 times, or I can do 37, no, 39, yeah, repeat 39 times. And then what you need to do is go to motion, take the move 10 steps, and then take the sensing uh, timer and then take the operators, take the multiplication one, put the timer in that and then write um, times 9, pop this into the place where 10 was and then you're pretty much done. So why don't we play this? Because it's pretty lopsided, why don't we make it to this part, like, off? Why don't we make it to 30, like, 5, probably? And there we go. And that's how you make your own intro for your Scratch videos. Hope you guys like this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Sh please share this. If we can get at least 5 or 10 likes, or at least 7 or 6 like, I mean subscribers, I'll do something very, very crazy on Scratch. I'll be doing two videos, and yeah. Thanks for watching, and peace.